presumption have you ever heard this term or do you know the meaning of this particular term if your answer is a confident yes excellent if you don't know then go back to my playlist on evidence act and refer my video on section 4 of evidence act where i have discussed in detail on the term presumption it is very necessary before we get into any discussion on section 79 to 90a we have as many as 12 sections which are discussing about presumptions as to documents hey guys welcome to my legal classes this is ganesh pujari and in the series of evidence act we were discussing chapter 5 which is all about documentary evidence which is covered between section 61 to 90a we are coming to the last part of our discussion where we are going to cover section 79 to 90a which discusses about presumptions as to documents now i am not going to cover all the 12 sections in one session i have broken this particular 12 sections into two different parts one the presumptions which is a must that is shall presume to the court and there are few sections which are talking about may presume now this meaning of terms is already discussed as i have told under section 4 and i have a detailed video on that now there are particular number of sections which are saying to the court to presume that is a must that means it's a shall presume by the court which is video 1 where i am going to cover the section number 79 80 81 81 a 82 83 84 85 85 a b and c and 89 all of these sections are shall presume we will understand all of this in this particular video and may presume will be covered in my next video that is how i am approaching these dozen of sections with that i am taking you to the first slide section 79 discusses about presumption as to genuineness of certified copies when i say the term certified copies you need to immediately shift to section 76 which clearly defines what are certified copies and how exactly they are certified. If any such certified copies coming in front of the court as discussed under section 76, the court shall presume that it is a genuine certified copy. That is the must for the court. It is not in the discretion of the court. Court shall presume. And who is certifying this? It can be certified by any state government officer or the central government officer or from any officer from Jammu and Kashmir who is authorized by the central government to do so. The only proviso here we have is the document is executed in the form as prescribed by the law. It should be followed as discussed under section 76. If that is satisfied in that case such documents need to be presumed as genuine certified copies that's all about section 79 section 80 discusses about presumption as to documents produced as record of evidence here what happens a particular document is produced to the court as an evidence by a particular witness or by a prisoner or an accused person now this document is produced in a judicial proceeding before any officer who is authorized by law to take such evidence and the same is taken as in accordance with law and the document is signed by a judge or magistrate in a particular case. If the same is referred in another case, the court shall presume that the document is genuine that any statement as to circumstances under which it was taken purporting to be made by the person signing it are true and such evidence or statement or confession was duly taken. That's about section 80. Section 81 discusses about presumption as to gazettes, newspapers, private acts of parliament and other documents. It says any official gazettes newspapers or journals or the copies of the acts of parliament etc to be presumed to be genuine however in the case law state of rajasthan versus union of india it was held by the supreme court that 
the news reports do not constitute admissible evidence of their truth that is one particular aspect you need to remember as far as section 81 is concerned the next section that is amendment section 81a which is being added after information technology act 2000 discusses about presumption as to gazettes in electronic forms if any gazettes which are kept in electronic forms if they are in the custody of the person with whom they are supposed to be and if they are kept substantially as required by the law and if they are produced from such custody in that case the court shall presume that they are genuine section 82 is very interesting which discusses about presumption as to document admissible in england without proof of seal or signature now what happens here there is a particular document which is admissible in england or ireland without any seal or stamp or signature etc there it is considered as genuine that particular document in that case the same if is called by the indian court for the same purpose the document needs to be considered as genuine without seal or stamp or signature that means whatever is accepted by the england court or the ireland court without seal stamp signature etc shall presume by the court as genuine documents in india also without any seal stamp signature that's about section 82 section 83 discusses about presumption as to maps or plans made by authority of government this particular section says that the court shall presume if the map or plans are made by any state government or central government the court shall presume that they are genuine however the maps or plans made for the purposes of any cause must be proved to be accurate that is the only condition that's all about section 83 section 84 discusses about presumption as to collections of laws and reports of decisions here every such book which is printed or published by any authority of the government of any country which has the laws of the country or the reports of decisions of the courts of such country when it is in front of the court the court shall presume that such book which is having such laws or the decisions of the courts is genuine that is about section 84 section 85 discusses about presumption as to power of attorney when a particular document is executed and authenticated by a notary public or court or judge or magistrate or by indian consul or by vice consul or representatives of the central government the court shall presume that such document is genuine there are three amendment sections under section 85 that is section 85 a b and c which are being added after the implementation of information technology act 2000 section 85 a discusses about presumption as to electronic agreements it says the court shall presume that every electronic agreement concluded by affixing electronic signatures of the parties shall be considered as genuine section 85 b discusses about presumption as to electronic records and electronic signatures when the question is about a uh, electronic record the court shall presume that the electronic records to be genuine and electronic signatures to be made by the subscriber with the intention of approving such electronic record shall be presumed as genuine. However, if the contrary is proved, in that case it is a different question, till the same is not proved, the document needs to be considered as genuine. When I say document, the electronic signatures need to be considered as genuine or the electronic records need to be considered as genuine. That is about section 85B. Section 85C discusses about presumption as to electronic signature certificates. 
Here, the court shall presume that the information listed in an electronic signature certificate is correct except for the subscriber information if the certificate was accepted by the subscriber. That is about section 85C. Section 89 discusses about presumption as to due execution etc. of documents not produced. Here what happens, the court has called for a particular document, it has given a notice to produce such document, but even after such notice, the document is not produced in front of the court. In that case, the court shall presume that the same is being attested, stamped and executed in the manner required by law. That is about section 89. While reading the shall presume sections, the two other sections that you can keep in your mind is section 113b which discusses about presumption as to dowry death and section 114a which discusses about presumption as to absence of consent in certain prosecutions for rape. I will cover these sections when I am reaching there but for now I just wanted you guys to know that here in these two sections also the shall presume continues. That's all about the shall presume clauses under the documentary evidences. Yes, that was my time. With that, I'm signing off. You guys subscribe our channel.